What's going on, folks? It's your boy Rob Hardy with Rainforest Films, director, producer, bunch of films, Think Like a Man 2, and Be and Mary Jane, and Stomp the Yard, and so on and so forth. It's a good day. So I figure you do a lot better than me. Well, you know, I appreciate the love, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're, you're doing a lot of things right now. Yeah, right now I'm directing a couple episodes of season two for Being Mary Jane. Uh, so shout out to Gabrielle Union. And uh, so basically it's a lot of fun. So we're basically in the story. It's about Mary Jane. And she's got a whole lot of decisions to make. So these particular episodes are really intense. It's got a lot of drama going on. It's a lot of heat. So um, if you watch the first season, you're going to love season two. So check out for your boy uh, on that one. Now, from what I know about you from the past, you directed some of my favorite shows, one being Heroes. I know about that, Heroes. <laughs> uh, Reborn, right? Heroes Reborn. Yeah. yeah. I know about that, Heroes. Love Heroes. And uh, Arrow. You just you directed an episode of Arrow recently, yes? Yes. I did. I, matter of fact, I'm about to go back to do Arrow, uh, which is based on that DC comic, The Green Arrow, and I'm also doing The Flash. So The, so the Flash has its own spinoff series, so I shoot that this fall, too. Now, as far as superheroes go, is there any like black superhero that you want to that, that you would love to direct, like you would love to see on a TV screen or film screen to come forward? Well, you know, I really like the Falcon. You know, I thought they did a really good job with the Falcon and that Captain America. And shout out to my homeboy Anthony uh, Mackey who did that. Um, so that was a big, big deal. So I'd love to see more stuff like that happening. I know that they have a uh, a Green Lantern figure, but he's a black guy. You know, I love to see something happen with that. Maybe that's, there's another way to go with that, and I was really in the spawn when that happened. So, um, you know, as far as TV directing, it's great to be able to do shows like Arrow and The Flash and Vampire Diaries and the originals because it's cool genre-type stuff. So it's dark, it's edgy, it's a little bit of violence, you know, some action. So I'm, I'm into stuff like that. And you have some stuff going on right now with BET? Well, tell us about that. So I have a new show that I'm developing for BT. It's called The Yard, and it's basically um, Stomp the Yard meets Friday Night Lights. So it's about a historically black college, and it's an integrated class at this uh, school. And, um, you know, there's football drama, you know, with the hot, you know, young quarterback that's coming in to try to lead the team. And there's a guy that's coming down from Chicago. He's got some gang issues as he's coming down to the school, and there's a little bit of hazing going on with the marching band. So it's going to be pretty, pretty uh, exciting. It's going to be on BT. Okay, Rob, so tell us a little about Amazing Stories. I've heard a lot about it. I want to hear about it from the man himself, the mouth of the man himself. Tell me about it. So Amazing Stories is a program that we have. It's a one-man live interactive stage show, and right now we're doing it at the 2014 uh, American Black Film Festival here in NYC. And basically what it is is that it's a, a live show to talk about how to live your dreams, how to live your best life. And it's based loosely on some of my experiences, but it's really about getting the audience to understand that everything that you go through in your life is made to make you a better person. So that way, if you want to be an artist, if you want to be a writer, producer, dancer, rapper, you know, hairstylist, whatever, all the things that you've gone through in your, in your life that have been adverse and that have made you tougher are only to make you a better person and make you a better artist and better at what you do. So Amazing Stories is about kind of trying to hone those experiences and make you be the best you. So I'm really, really excited about that. Very cool. There's actually one more thing I want to ask you. Um, what made you want to start being a director, producer? Like what made you get into this business? Did you always love it? Is it something that you found out you loved later in life? What, what, what was your passion that made you uh, come forward and be so successful doing this? You know, uh, what made me kind of fall in love with the, with the film industry, what made me want to become a director was I actually took a video class uh, in school one day and I really kind of liked it and it was fun. And I had a big imagination being an only kid. And then the more I did it, uh, the more fun it became. And then people started to give me praise and say, man, you're pretty good at this. You should try it. And it gave me a chance to be able to be creative and make something. At the end of the day, you get to see it. It's not like I'm just putting numbers in the computer or just working, you know, digging ditches or something like that. I get to make something from nothing and then see people react to it. So that's the cool thing about being a filmmaker and being a storyteller. So uh, I want to do more of that, and I want to see other people do that too. Right now, uh, in theaters, there's a, there's a thing like a man too, which I'm the executive producer of. So shout out to my man Will Packer uh, for producing that one. And then later on this fall, there is a movie called No Good Deed with Taraji Henson and Idris Elba, and that also comes out uh, later this year. So that's happening. There's a couple other movies that we're developing uh, right now. So uh, I'm excited about the future as far as what's happening uh, with Rainforest. 
Very cool. Now tell everybody uh, about your company, where we can find it, where can we keep up with you guys, your Twitter, Facebook. We want to know what's going on, what's happening next with you guys. Plug yourself. Yeah, so the company's called Rainforest Films, and the, and the address is rainforestfilms.com. And you can follow me, uh, Rob Hardy, uh, at the real Rob Hardy, or uh, Instagram, real Rob Hardy. Um, as well so um, there's a lot going on there's a lot more projects and we're always looking to work with new and exciting people and different faces uh, as we film very cool Rob Hardy director producer it's going down American Black Film Festival 2014 we will see you guys later